however dangerous they may appear, so it wasn't surprising when he was chosen to star in the West End as Phineas T. Barnum, the world's greatest showman. When the musical Barnum ended its run at the London Palladium in February 1983, it had been playing to capacity audiences for two years. The show demanded remarkable feats of daring and physical endurance, which most circus people start learning as soon as they can walk. Crawford spent five months in training at the Big Apple Circus School in New York in preparation for the show. Now, after two years, Barnum has reopened at the Victoria Palace in London. So, while the South Bank show was in New York last year, we took the opportunity to look behind the scenes at the work that goes into the formidable task of mastering new circus acts. <laughs> February the 3rd, 1983, and an enthusiastic audience watches the last night of Barnum at the London Palladium. They've come to see a tour de force from one of the West End's most athletic stars. Michael Crawford runs through one of the exhausting routines near the end of the show, where he has to leave the stage and reappear at the top of the auditorium, fully changed in just one minute. The guys are all lined up along here, keeping the way clear, because if anybody runs out at the speed uh, we're actually, uh, well, I'm actually running. You're running up here? Yes. Oh, well, three at a time, yes. <laughs> I'm stuck here. Did you get that? And pass. Miss Judy Garland, give that a tap every night. Are you changing by this time? Or no, 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 not yet. And there again, ushers all here. Open this door to go through to the upper circle. Again, three at a time. Yeah. In fact, there are, I think, about 85 steps. And you, you have to do it in 20, at least no more than 20 seconds. Last door. <laughs> Take Daly Thompson time. Through here, yes. Yeah. Daily trains here. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he standing? He's just standing. <laughs> then in here, uh, underneath here, and this is where the oh, there's no light, but this is where the quick change happens. And two, there are two girls, just stand here and rip my clothes off. It's the best part of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to get into my ringmaster's outfit. And so that's taking you 20 seconds from the stage to get here. Now and you the change, change. The change, you rip the clothes off that you've had on for the, for the show, and then put the, you've got jodhpurs, boots, uh, the, the very fluffy yeah. shirt, but it's got no sleeves. The sleeves are just joined and the on band's the band's playing the song that you're about to hit. Yes, I have to go then, step out onto this, this platform here. Do you want yeah. to come out here? Uh, after you. Uh, don't look down. Where? We're all set up here. Uh, Tim is just taking hold of this and, and set my, um, my safety strap up for me yeah. to get on here. And then a whistle goes on cue, and I just jump. Are you going down now? Yes, I can go down now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Although... I don't think you can bring circus into a theatre. The whole idea of this production is the spirit of the circus. And it's something that I had never experienced in my life, the spirit of these people that I met and after work with and trained with. It's, they live in a totally another world, total dedication to what they're doing, because they have to. Their success depends on their preparation and their work Crawford's preparation has included months mastering the wire. Your body must stay upright. You must feel as though you're connected to the ceiling. With your own height, that makes you 13 feet off the ground. So as you look down and you've got three quarters of an inch of wire below you, one false step and you feel as though you're going to be split in two. You spot one point and you don't take your eyes off the wire and you just walk it with great respect. The first time it took me 15 minutes before I could move. I just stood there and I shook and I shook and I shook and I was all the time talking to myself saying, oh, you've, you've, got to, you've got to go, you've got to go. Just go two steps and fall off, but go. And in the end I, I did it and I got halfway and I fell. 
Yes. Um, now, if I was to fall... Say I fall. And my feet mustn't touch the ground, then I can count it as not a fall. I spin back up and try and get up without having touched the ground, which is, if you're, again, 30 feet off the ground, that's what you'd have to do. Otherwise, break your neck. He's justifiably proud of the fact that in over 900 performances, he's fallen off just five times. I thought the best idea would be to go to a circus and be taught by the people. But again, I was totally ignorant of the way they worked. They're very closed. It's a very closed world, and they don't easily accept you. But I thought I want to go and work, if there was such a thing as a circus school, which we then found there was, uh, the Big Apple Circus School in New York. So they made arrangements for me to go out there and learn mainly the basic skills. There's no way that I'm going to be ever a good wire walker, a good trapeze artist, a good unicyclist, good on a trampette, good juggler. But I wanted to learn basically the skills. Then I could interpret the spirit of them. Right, and he's all right. Uh, now, how about the, the bird? Yes. Hi, Iris. Hi. I'm on the wrong side. Good. I got a lot of that. Yeah. Of course, everybody. Do you understand a little bit about you? Please, do you work? Yeah. 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 I thought they can do. Super. When Michael Crawford first came here, we knew something of his reputation. But we tend to look askance at reputations, uh, not because we don't admire somebody's work in the theater, but when they come here, they've got a whole other kind of work to do. An absolute need for concentration, dedication, hard work. Oh, where's the break? Hey, stop, 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 don't go. <laughs> You can't fake it when you work on circus tricks. There's an old uh, saying, you know, in the theater they have a thing called motivation for the actor. We say in the circus that motivation is you miss the trick, you break your neck. Okay, this is the first fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> From day one, he made it clear that he was willing to work as hard or harder than anybody was asking him to. He was spending four and five and six hours a day. And a good deal of that time was on his own after instruction. Sasha would work with him for a couple of hours, and then Michael would just absolutely refuse to leave until he got what he was looking for out of the piece of work that he was working on for that day. Close to around. That's easy. Could do a good... This could do a good drunk act on this. Yeah, this sure. <laughs> now, when you've been ready, you just clack your hands. And I won't say half, okay? Half. All right. Watch out. Try it this way, okay? Doing. All right? Yeah. Let's go. Sasha is Crawford's teacher at the circus school. He's been brought up to circus performing since his childhood in Czechoslovakia, and he demands total commitment. Okay. And you've been ready? I go. I tell you half, okay? Half. All right. Yeah. That's it. 
See, because I, I feel, I know which moment. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Pop. All right. I don't tell you similar stuff. No, I know, I forgot. All right? Yeah. But uh, it was a good <laughs> moment. You've been a good student because you listen great. <laughs> you see, this, you can never know feelings why you sell. Yeah. Which moment I'm doing. Understand yeah. this? Yeah. Why I help you? Yeah. This take a couple of time, then I don't say nothing. I just go. Yeah. Understand? Try again. Try um, go high, okay? Hop. That's better. All by myself? Right. Right. Okay. Go. Good. I need it more high. I'm going to have it on high. That's it. Very good. Very good. Good. Oh, uh, hurts, huh? Take a relax a little bit. You too nervous, Michael. On this return trip to the circus school, Crawford wanted to extend his repertoire on the wire, including trying to lift himself up from a sitting position. Sasha begins by demonstrating the technique. You see, I put my legs right away there. Yeah. Then I'll be upstairs. Yeah. It's really easy, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Relax more. You're too tight. This was so easy. Pression on one leg. Just pressure on one leg. That's it. Great. Very good. I'll never Take get the up. Other hand down. Other down. So you have to both legs together. Down. Over this side, okay? On one side. Just put it down, the legs. <laughs> That's it. Great. Now it's easy because your legs balancing. You can more relax with your arms, you see? I'm never going to get up. Oh, yeah, no, this is very hard. It's, it's hard where tough. I'm sitting, too. Uh, uh, yeah, no, the wire is a little bit hard, you, I know. You can't adjust. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessary, do you? It's ruined my weekend. <laughs> All right, keep more close, that's it. One arm over there, the other balancing always. That's it. And try the same thing faster, put the legs on the wire. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was sure. Oh, <laughs> this is very hard, this one. This is very hard. This needed a little bit of flexi flexibility. This moment, when you go, you must very go front. You're let still me tight. That's let me have another go. I've got to get this. Uh, let me just go. Okay. It's easy. Uh. All right. All right. Very good. All right. <laughs> Like Easy, just relax. Watch your balance. All right. Don't worry, when you have, put the legs right away down. Don't you? The legs yeah. are balancing. You can put the legs together. Right. Yes. Now, Is the legs front leg, blood, eh? no. front leg up. Yeah. Try to legs put it up. Okay. Balance with the left hand. Relax, relax. This one you put it closer. That's it. Keep it straight. Right. Just take it now. Time, and go faster when you can. Oh, was very close, very close. More, you see, this, thick, this is more difficult this moment. Yeah. You should be doing fast. Come more closer, huh? That's it. And when I go, go fast. Yes. Put the legs right away there. Oh, 
close, you see? How long? You don't. <laughs> it's very close. All right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you have nice reaction, you know? You yeah. still had it a while in hand. You got a This is good. <laughs> <sighs> the tongue is scared for the camera. <laughs> easy, very easy. That is very easy. Once it's good to relax. When you both legs is like this down, just take a break, you know? Small. Wow, yeah, you did it. Very easy. Yes. Very good. None of us take it lightly. And unless a stranger and outsider comes in taking it as seriously or more seriously probably than we do, we tend to want to shut them out. Believe me, we have rarely seen, and that we have worked with, with several casts of Barnum, six or seven stars of Barnum around the world, here in New York, the National Company, Australia, London, and so on. Um, Michael, by far, was the most uh, dedicated of, the, of them. And absolute insistence, you know, I, don't even, I wouldn't say that he has the more innate talent than any one of them. His just absolute refusal not to take the next step. You know, he had to take the next step every time. You stay, one, two, on go, stay, one, two, you see, on push, uh, one, two, you see, I pull me the head too. Michael Crawford's enthusiasm extends to a first ever attempt at the flying trapeze, even though the show's insurance won't allow him to do it on stage. Our tendency when we see something we're afraid of is to run. Michael has a tendency to want to walk a little closer to it, sort of like sniff at it, you know, what's this, you know, I have to get a little, you know, figure it out. What am I really afraid of here? And uh, he doesn't back off from that kind of thing. You hold in, you hold in. When I say hop, you just put there, or you just catch it with both legs, or, uh, both arms, okay? But I, I don't jump then, do I? No, 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 no. I'm just the tempo, you know, you just like jump a little bit. And then I'm going to hold it with both hands first, yes? Of course, of course, all right? Shall I do that now? Yeah, because I hold you, okay? Oh, jeez. All right, take it. All right, I make you easy way, all no. right? So jump now in air. What do you mean, I'm going to go now? Yeah, sure. You ready? So you just jump a little bit. I hold you, you don't scare, nothing. Okay, ready? Jump. Oh. Go I'm, you're going to let me go and I'm going to swing this time. Okay. Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, you can leave him. You can leave him. Just do straight round all I, the way. I don't okay? know. Listen, take the uh, legs out. Go back. Let, go me, back. let me go. Break, okay. Ready. Are you saying that I'm going to jump clear or I'm practicing a jump here? He can no practicing here because it's very hard. Right, you so I go fly. straight into it. You know what? I change something else. You go move both legs on the trapeze. You take the legs and I'm going to hold you in the air. I will hold you in the air, okay? Right, I just sent you. You understand? He wants to know where you're going to let go. I want to you. I want he take the legs out from the platform too. The I want to hold him. Okay. 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 So put the le both he legs, uh, arms on the trapeze. Okay. All right. Now I hold you. You see? Take the legs out. Take the legs out slowly. Take just put it down, down on the platform. Go ahead. Take it out. I hold you. Go ahead. What lead? <laughs> All right. Okay. Just go, go, go like this. Adrian. Up there. That's it. That's it. That's it. Go more, more, more. Sit like we want sitting down. That's it. Great. So I send you like this. Okay. Stay straight. That's it. Stay. Kick on front. All right. Go hold strong with the arms. Watch out, Paul. Huh? 
Wait, and stay. Kick him back, you kick too, far, uh, too early. Stay, 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 now. Okay, on kick. Stay, back and front. Stay. Yeah. Okay, go front. You open your legs on pole. He won't stop you, okay? Ready? Yeah. All right, good. All right, I'm going down just to here. Jump late, that's why I don't get through. It's easier to jump to the man. What was the hardest part? Initially, it's uh, standing on the edge for the first time. Whereas from down here, it doesn't look very high, but when you get hold of that and you lean out, the position that you've got to lean, hold the pike, hold the pike, keep the arm straight. And there's just someone holding your mechanic at the back, and you, you, you turn to you say, "You sure? You sure you got me? You sure you got me now? Okay, you sure you got me?" And that goes on and on. And they say, "You keep doing that." I don't know why you do that, but you've heard people do it, so you do. <laughs> a circus. Uh, but you, you, you must relax. And I'm the last one to relax at doing that. That's so why Sasha's screaming at me. Relax, relax, because if you're not relaxed, there's no way that you can do what you've got to do and hold the positions that you've got to hold. And so, for the That's first... That's what he was screaming at, that you weren't holding the position. Long you've got to hold the pike as you, go f as you go down. You must certainly keep your arms straight, apparently, and not bend into it so that you, as you jump off the bar, uh, as you jump off the platform, you jump up in the air, not out towards the trapeze. You jump up and go straight down. No. Then when he shouts at you again, you crack back for the backward swing, and if you don't, as you saw, I will smash straight into the platform going back. Well, you learn pretty quickly after making a mistake as big as that, not to do it again. You don't listen. You know what you do all the time? We take one stick and we give you. Uh -huh. All right? <laughs> no, this is... You see why you kick so much? Yeah. yeah. Because first start was good. It was nice, high. But you worry because... Everybody do that anyway. So, but you wait, you wait, you want... I told you. Kick. When you kick strong, you never hit this. Understand? Yeah. Let's try again, what? Great, relax. You're not mechanic. You know it's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Did you find that you trust every single thing Sasha says? Um, <clears throat> once you've let go, there's no choice. <laughs> you've got no choice at all. No, I trust him. Yes, and you've got to also trust the the, the man that's holding the mechanic, because uh, if he is not with you all the way, he can pull you too quickly up in the air or let you go. If you did come off that bar, he's got to be ready to grab you because you're not missing the ground by much and you would, uh, you'd hit pretty badly. John. Two. Oh, stay there, stay there. Kick! Oh, much better. Stay, stay there. Kick and push. That's it, good. Kick, stay there, on kick, push with the shoulder, great. Okay, good. Oh. Hold, Michael. On, off, great, Michael. This is much better. All right, you jumped in it. Good. Okay. Great. That was five best times one. better. This was the best one. Go. Right. Bravo. Yes. Bravo. This was the best one. <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm not really good at anything all these skills. I am competent. Um, you must sell them though uh, with great pride. That's what I was taught. Whatever you achieve, if you're juggling with three balls, it's enormous pride that you've done it. Well, as you're learning and you actually do achieve the, the skill of juggling three balls, you, your face is just glowing and you watch every member of the company, their face just to go, look, look, look at me! And, and that you must never lose. That's something that you have to do every night at the end of every trick you present. It's this old joker going... <laughs> that. But you do, you present very proud.
Michael Crawford in Barnum. The new production is now running at the Victoria Palace Theatre in London and the show incorporates many new circus acts. We'll be back.